far I'm at almost 17 minutes. Here we go. And I go to 14 speed. I have my crank climber seems to be a little jet laggy. So I've accomplished my 189 days on <laughs> my triangle activities. At first it started one or two minutes at a time. And gradually went to three or four minutes at a time. Just to using the one side. However, now I can do what seemed to be hard for the past couple of weeks, adding the uh, high intensity part of the exercise. Just like with the little uh, mini bike exercise, you turn. Up to 40 seconds, fast pace, and then you slow down for 20 seconds. Anyways, all well, the fast pace is considered high intensity or kegel exercise. You lift up your, your behind to, be, to uh, you know, get strong again in your hips and your thighs. <sighs> so the high intensity is not about a whole bunch of tension. It's what you're used to as regular activities at your own pace, modified pace. However, when you experience some kind of setback, if you will, the old adage, get back on that horse. <laughs> Not never speaking, it's a metaphor. Anyways, I'm enjoying my exercises every day. I'm getting better and better and better. Right now I'm at 19. All right, so just letting you know an update. I think I'll change my routine to 30 minutes of high intensity exercise which means I'm using both paddles on the track liner. I'm doing the pelvic lift and easy, easy movements. Yeah, easy movements. And hanging on back to the sidebar. Breathing exercises really help, guys. So whoever's listening to this, enjoy the moment, enjoy your day. Hey, I may not always use the words I love you, but deep inside it's there. <coughs> My mom used to say that to me a lot. Because really, it's about discipline. I'm not expecting everybody else to validate us. That's something. It's an inside job, right? It's something we're within when we're expecting somebody else to supply us with the emotional intelligence. We can do that for ourselves. Right? I have spiritual intelligence, for example, or spiritual awareness. I have emotional intelligence and capacity, right? I have, right? It's a gift. It's a special gift that's right on the inside of each individual who worked through the process, you know? It doesn't mean that you're bad if you don't. It just means you're not there yet. Meet yourself where you're at. It's okay. Anyways, I am going to do a couple more steps so my counter on my tread climber doesn't. And then I'll keep on going with the next 10 minutes with my phone in my pocket. All right. <laughs> that feels good. It's some warm. Right? Allow hip to move, belly button tucked in. Just a relaxed movement. The more we relax and exercise, the less tension we experience. Right? That's why I talk about breath work. Anyways, I love you. God bless you. And love does not always mean the same to each and every individual, and that's okay. I practice emotional focus therapy lately. I listen to audios, and it's just like, yeah. I used to listen 
study that kind of stuff in my 30s. But back then, I didn't know that it's okay to, <laughs> to uh, get in tune with my fears or resentment or fears and resentment. I'm not being a bad person, a horrible person by getting in tune with myself. Anyway, so I would do a lot of writing without including my emotions in there. <laughs> so now, when you get in touch with your real emotion, you're like, is that mine or is that somebody else's? And at the same time, you learn empathy for yourself and empathy for others. That's just beautiful energy. That's what we want to do in life is create beautiful energy. Like people who hate themselves, we all experience that at one time or another. We kind of make the wrong choices. But when we start practicing self-love, we're starting to attract beautiful energy towards us. People who have not just positive thinking, say positive, but then behave, you know, because the words and the behaviors will match. When somebody says, I love you, those words and behaviors will match. And you got to say that to yourself sometime. Look in the mirror and say, I love you. What can I do for you today to make you happy? Yesterday I tried it. And I started feeling this beautiful energy all around me. And it worked in my favor. I started cleaning my apartment, organizing like I used to. And I was in good spirits the whole time from those words alone. So words we speak create our reality. Let's create a good reality for ourselves today. And whatever things that are hard to work through, write to a trusted friend and see. Because usually a trusted friend is somebody who has the answers but eventually those answers you'll start feeling them inside you doesn't mean you won't need that friend anymore it just means that friend is somebody that you will respect and that you respect yeah anyways i gotta do a couple more steps so it doesn't give out on me. <laughs> the machine is. machines are not people right for a long time when i was feeling overwhelmed and overburdened <laughs> I'm not a robot. Right? I used to use defensive treatment. Well, when we defend ourselves, then some kind of feeling bad about our own things we say about others because it affects our own physiology. Right? Because the brain doesn't know if we're talking about somebody else, we're talking about ourselves. That's why it's so important to get into a focused, self centered meditation. Whatever works for you. All right. I'll hang up this phone now and put it in my pocket. <laughs> Enjoy your day today. God bless. <sighs> I got my water. <laughs> right? Drink some water. And I got my Kleenex. Yes. All right. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the moment. Just letting you know I caught up on my 189 days of treadmill exercise. Because of the one side instead of both sides. Today I'm starting a two-sided exercise. I'll see if I can be the, make the, you know, the goal 30 days at a time instead of 189 days. That was a whole six months. But it started gradually. You know, 200 steps. 300 steps. So, let's do this. Enjoy the day. You don't have to do it. This is for me. My self-esteem work where I'm feeling better about myself. Creating good energy. Have a great day.